Well, the generator's been here for months, and we've been waiting months for the tanks. They're finally here. And that's not what I was told we were getting. I was told we were getting 250 gallon tank that's on its side to go right on that pad. And yet we have this nonsense. And it's unfortunate I'm the one that referred this electrician plumber for the job. Oh. You know, I have people call me all the time to do work and you know, I have to turn them down because of this job. And they always ask me for referrals and I always say no, but yet, I referred this guy for this job and it turned into a nightmare. So he charged my customer for the generator and for the tanks and he's gonna install them. But it turns out he's saying months later that he's not allowed to buy the tanks. You know, he has to pay for the tanks and the tank company has to come out. They're a propane company. They have to come out and install the tanks, check everything, make sure everything's good. And this has been months we've been waiting for this. So he tried to get the tanks himself to bring them out to install them. But they said, oh, no, you can't put them in your van. They got to come out on a big truck so they don't get damaged. Well, they came out on a big truck today. Look at all the damage. Come on, man. Brand new tanks. Hmm, rust already. Brand new. Not even a day old on the job and they're rusting. Scratched up, scraped up. I mean, these are the problems you run into when you refer people. I should have just let her find somebody on her own, I guess. I don't know. I was trying to help her. Well, here's the other thing. So they installed the tanks. My electrician was here. He hooked everything up. They ran the hose through this pipe. So this tank comes through this copper line into this tank and then out the yellow hose over to the generator but it's unfortunate when they left they never tried it still red so we're gonna try it so my electrician he said oh that's because you know when they left there was only a little bit of propane in the tanks he was waiting for them to fill it and apparently once they all left the truck came out and filled the tanks so they're full so let's try. Hopefully, at least it works. At least it fires up. Let's try it out here. Let's turn the breaker on. It's on off. I guess we're going to want to put it on manual. Well, at least it fires up. I don't know how to test it being that I'm not an electrician. But I did open this panel here. Let's open it again. There's a little handle here. It says you can put it in there. Let's see if I can see it. A little, put it in there and you can manually throw the switch. You know, I don't know if that's what you do to test it or you turn this off. Utility service disconnect. Utility meaning the service line. If I turn this off, will that generator fire up? I don't know. So I'm not going to try it just in case. But... At least it works but these are these are the problems you run into when you refer people they make you look bad it's unfortunate